Hey there everybody, welcome back to a new Cinema 4D tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and today in this tutorial we'll be doing some modeling again and we'll be learning to model a simple table app. So this is the final uh, product of how the table app would look. Um, I would not get too much into the materials or the lighting because uh, you know you can just apply any materials and that's not the importance of this tutorial, it's all about the modeling. So if you guys do want uh, the uh, you know the tutorial for the texturing just uh, drop in a comment and uh, I should do it so without further ado let's get started so here I am in a new project in cinema 4d where I'm gonna go to the render settings and change 1280 to 720 okay and the first step is we want to create the base so let me just go and drop in a cube so with this cube I'm gonna set the size X to 300 the size Y to around uh, 800 and the size Z will be 200. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to go and we want to grab an arc. And here in the arc, I want to go set this type to a ring. And we want to uh, reduce down the radius. So we want to set this to around 190. I mean, increase it. And we want to go to the rotation and we want to give it a banking rotation of uh, minus 45 degrees. So if I go to my uh, front view and we can see it is exactly, you know, properly aligned. And sorry about that. It kind of crashed in the middle, but that's not a problem. Okay, so with this arc selected, I'm going to go and uh, choose an extrude nubs and I want to drive the arc inside the extrude nubs. And in the extrude nubs, I'm going to set the uh, movement to 220 and go to the caps, add a fillet cap for the start and the end. Set the steps to 3 and the radius to 1, steps 3, radius 1. And then we want to go and uh, we want to take this. Let's take the arc and we want to move that out right in the front. Uh, we can go to our top view and to see if it sits properly. Okay. And then we can, you know, uh, select the coordinate system here and which will make the axis proper and we can just uh, kind of drag it down. And then I'm going to go take the arc, hit C on the keyboard. And I'm going to press T on the keyboard to bring out the scale. And uh, I'm just going to scale it out wide to say something like that. And uh, then what we're going to do is we want to take the extrude. And I'm going to set the Y to minus 10. Okay, so what we actually want to do is I want to go to the Q and I'm going to increase the size up. Okay, so... Uh, say something around uh, probably 150 uh, actually reduce that down to uh, say something like that okay so it completely got, let's say uh, 130 okay and then I'm gonna go take this cube I'm gonna press ctrl C ctrl V make a duplicate hide it and I'm just gonna go choose a bool object I'm gonna drag the extrude and the cube inside the bool object the cube going first so then we see we have something that uh, kind of looks like this and actually I'm going to delete this cube and we want the extrude so I'm going to press duplicate that I'm going to hide the extrude and then I'm going to go to the bool and I'm going to uh, uh, hit C on the keyboard to make it editable and uh, with all these selected I'm going to select all this right click connect objects plus delete I'm going to delete these and uh, then I'm going to go to the, let's see, the front view. And uh, with my point selection, I'm just going to select all these points. And I'm, oops, whoa, 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 that was that. Okay. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to select these again and delete that. And uh, we can uncheck only select visible elements. And we can select all these points, delete. We can press Control A, right click. Optimize, which will get rid of the unnecessary points. Oops, sorry about that again. So, uh, so what we have is once we remove the points, we get something that looks like this. 
and uh, we, I just make this cube editable and shrink shrink down the size and then we want to take this extrude and we want to you know uh, uncheck it so we have a good looking uh, base over here and then let's uh, create the button so for the button I'm gonna go drag a cylinder uh, I'm gonna set the radius down to 30 the Y I'm gonna set that to 20 and uh, let the rotation segments be as it is and uh, then what we want to do is we want to go to our front view and I want to take this and I'm going to press R on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate it to say around 20 degrees and I'm just going to uh, move this up slightly uh, and uh, you know, just get a little bit touch over there and then we have it kind of popping out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cylinder, make it editable by pressing C on the keyboard. And then I'm going to go choose my polygon tool, choose my live selection tool. We're going to select all these polygons. I'm going to press I on the keyboard to get the inner extrude tool. I'm just going to extrude it in to say around 1.5. And I'm going to press D on the keyboard. And I just want to bring this in a little bit to say something like minus 2. Okay, and then I'm going to go take a subdivision surface and drop the cylinder inside the subdivision surface and we get uh, something like this. But I want to add some few, I want to add a few cuts. So I'm going to press K on my keyboard to give the knife tool. Then choose the loop mode and choose the point selection tool. And we want to make uh, a cut over here. And then when we put on our subdivision surface, we get something that looks pretty uh, decent and sharp like that. So uh, once we're done with this, I'm just going to select all this. I'm going to press Alt G on my keyboard and drop the internal and I'm going to call this base. So next we want to start creating the uh, handle kind of a thing. So let's grab a cube and I'm going to set the X to 75. See the, set the Y to say around 320. And uh, set the Z to say something around 100. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to reduce down the Y to say something around 50 and I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to go and select fillet and uh, set the fillet subdivision to 1 and the, uh, sorry, uh, 3 and we're going to set the fillet radius also to 3. Okay, actually let me reduce this to 2 and 2. Okay. And then we want to go into our other views. Let's see the front view, okay? And then we want to take the rotation tool. We want to rotate it like that. And we want to go take it and we want to place it somewhere around here. And make sure that you know it uh, fitting pretty well, okay? So uh, this is how it uh, kind of looks. And after that, I'm going to make this editable pressing the C key and I'm going to select this polygon and uh, what I'm actually going to do is press I on the keyboard to get the extra inner we're going to extrude it in to let's say around give it a set of 5 and then I'm going to press D and I'm going to increase it up to say around 300 and uh, let's move back and uh, let me set this to around 350 Okay, cool. And look at that. Okay, uh, after we do it, I want to go select the edge mode and uh, I'm going to select these two edges uh, and this edge. So we have uh, four edges selected and I'm going to press right click and choose bevel. And we're going to bevel it out to say around an offset of 5 with a subdivision of 5, which uh, gives it a pretty decent, amazing rounding as you can see here. Okay, then we're going to go and uh, grab a cylinder. So, uh, cylinder, you're going to set the orientation to plus Z so that it is facing this side. Let's go into our front view and uh, zoom out and we're going to go take this and we're going to place it or somewhere over here 
cool that sounds cool and uh, I'm gonna go set the height to 100 and uh, probably increase the radiation segments to 50 to give it a bit more of a rounding then we can go into our top view and we can place this exactly over here okay so uh, this is kind of a handle thing and uh, then what we can do is we can go and uh, grab another cube we can drag this up i'm going to set the x to 400 y to 40 and z to 70. i'm going to check fill it and set the fillet radius and the fillet type to three and then i'm going to go into our front view and i'm going to press r on the keyboard and uh, rotate it to say something around the minus 30 and uh, go back to my live selection tool and place this right over here probably somewhere over here and now when you come back we can see that you know kind of looks like a decent lamp okay uh, now we're going to go make the hole over here and drop in the lights so for that let's make another cube Actually, I'm going to go hold Alt on the keyboard, select this cube, and I'm going to press this. So that makes it a child of this cube. So that now it we can, you know, drag it, take this cube and drag it, and uh, the anchor point remains the same. So the anchor point of this is where this cube will be held if we hold Alt and, uh, you know, select it. And then we're going to go and... Uh, Reduce down the size on the X. Uh, let's say that to 200. Probably reduce this down to say around uh, 30. And uh, the size Z also to say something around uh, 70. Actually, let's set that to 60. And we can slowly take and bring this out. Something like that. And then we can go, uh, we can move this up a little bit actually. And then we can go choose a Boolean object. And we can drag this cube first and the second cube. And then if you see, we have this uh, cool hole that is made. So that is the place where we're going to keep the uh, lights. So to make the lights, I'm going to go make a quick sphere. Go to MoGraph, go to Cloner, drag the sphere inside the Cloner. We can take this and we can drag this up. And I'm going to set the mode to grid array. Set the count of the X to 10. Y will be 1 and Z will be 2. And I'm going to set the size to 350 over here. And uh, 35 here on the Z. And I'm going to go to the sphere and I'm going to set the radius down to 10. And then let's go to the front view. And uh, I'm going to press R. And I'm going to rotate it. Oops, take the whole cloner. And we're going to rotate it. And probably, depending on the number of clones we have, let me just uh, shrink this down a bit. Reduce the count. And we can take this and probably uh, move it over here. And we can reduce this, the number of counts. Okay, so that to say something around 7 and push it in a bit and if we come back here we see we have the clones uh, if I want I can actually uh, increase decrease the size of this to say something around 25 that will look good so basically it's all about your judgment and uh, simple you know liking and uh, one other thing I would want to do is I want to go select the cylinder and we go to caps, choose a fillet, set the fragment to maybe 5 and the radius to 3. So it gives it a nice beveled edge. So um, this is pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Thank you very much for waddling. Hope you learned something. And any other requests you want, please uh, comment down and let me know. And I hope you see you again in another future tutorial. Goodbye. Take care.